This is Phil Bell from FreedomWorks on the Daily Mojo, your morning update. Now you know, there is nobody out there who wants President Trump to win re-election more than I do. And I'm confident that he'll be able to do it. But I want to warn you that even if he walks back into the Oval Office in 2025, the economy is not going to snap back to the way it was in 2019 well, not unless we get involved anyway. You see, the economy was disrupted by a variety of factors. The first, of course, were the insane, arbitrary, capricious, and unconstitutional lockdowns. Those shattered so many of the carefully built relationships that had taken place over decades and enabled us to receive the products and services that we're accustomed to. And then, of course, you have the Biden administration that is regulated and pushed for legislation that discourages almost every form of private economic activity, unless, of course, there's a few bucks in it for the big guy. And then let's remember that even before all of this, there were decades and decades of members of Congress and regulatory agencies and otherwise getting involved to disrupt our ability to serve our fellow man in voluntary ways, which is, of course, what we call the free market. Now, how do we get things to change? Well, the first is that we are going to have to get involved in our economy in a very big way, and not just by going to the local grocery store and buying food. We're going to have to be more innovative at our jobs to help our bosses find ways that our companies can be more productive and serve more people. And if you're inclined to start a business, do it. Even if you fail, that experience is going to be helpful. More economic activity and the growth of the free market, which we can each support in our own small way, is what will help turn things around and get us back to the point where we can actually afford to live. The first thing I want you to do is go to freedomworks.org and join our freedom teams. There we will talk to you about the nuances of economic activity and how you can play a larger role. And the second, of course, is as I said, be more proactive at your job in helping your companies grow, or if you want to start a business, do it. Do it now. We'll see you tomorrow, and I hope you have a great day. Phil Bell's Morning Update is only on the Daily Mojo.com. 